Hello guys, today I'll show you how you can set your Tarkov to have a biggest chance to spot your enemies as well to start the journey for the title. Um, in the game settings I would like you to change quick slots, stamina and stance, health and condition to always shown. Uh, I want you to check your scheme color, a health color scheme to polychrome if you're not color blind, blind person. If you have 16 gigabytes or more of random access memory i want you to check off the automatic ram cleaner and check in your setup will the settings of use only physical cores will increase or will not make much of a difference in your setup in my case use physical cores brings me um, i would say more frames and a little bit less starters change your field of view from um, 75 to 50 you want to spot enemies on the distance between 50 to 80 meters this is a deadly distance in taco for new players make sure that your head bobbing is on minimal value 0.2 and you can check the preload hideout option as well as a one malfunction notification as soon all those settings look like this press plus save and go back to settings in the graphic options I will advise you to change your uh, screen mode to borderless. First of all, it gives you a chance to alt up from the game without uh, problems with resizing your application. Additionally, on the cards, which are, uh, are newer than Pascal or, Bo or Maxwell, it will give you uh, less of an input lag. Set texture quality uh, to high if you have uh, something um, a CPU better than something like 40, 770k and your shadows quality to medium your object LED quality in case if you have a card stronger than 10, uh, 1060 you can check for three and a half or four in case of 1060 and less set it to three or two and a half I keep my on four I'm using 1070 uh, overall visibility 1000 is absolutely enough I'm using quite often landmarks of a planscape to navigate myself in big maps like woods so I keep it to uh, one and a half two thousand meters until Yasing I'll advise to use FXAA or TAA um, its personal preferences uh, I use TAA HBO turn it off SSR turn it off anisotropic filtering turn it off uh, NVIDIA uh, um, reflex low latency turn it on but this required to check one more setting in the nvidia control panel uh, make sure that all the checkboxes on the bottom of your screen like high quality color z blue from abbreviation noise grass shadows are turned off so this is a part of the graphics let's move to post effects i'm not using any post effects i'm using um, nvidia control panel color col color col correction uh, which is in one of my videos. I'll link them below. In the sound tab, I want you to change your interface volume as well as the hideout volume to 10. Um, a hideout, I don't know why it's so loud in the game. Interface is the noise of you adding ammo in your magazines <coughs> while in raid. I would rather hear my enemies approaching me than rounds clicking into my magazine. As soon as you save the options and you go back to controls, in here on the very bottom, the last option, what you I want you to change is uh, console button which by default is on press i want you to change the type of press from press to double click this will help you to actually save yourself from accidental uh, activation of console while you're trying to switch your gun to a pistol in my case it's combination of two buttons to make it to make it sure because i have check chamber or fix fix malfunction on the tilde so i don't want this button to be pressed accidentally i want you to make sure that you're using disco button where it's somewhere close to you use in my case it's my side button of my mouse you can use something on your keyboard which is easy accessible this button is more important than jumping in taco when it comes to survival when you play with a team next change i would like you to fix is emergency weapon reload which is by default r and in my case is actually some other keybind and uh, why this is so important by default in here you'll be having R and you'll have uh, double click in this setting 
your uh, PMC or your, your player, your scout will be waiting for a double click timeout duration to actually start animation reload. So if you ever died because you were not fast enough to reload your gun, this was a troll from PSG to actually make sure that you did your homework. So please change this reload to something else than your default keybind and make sure that you don't use double click on the same keybind as reload to make it available for you to actually survive uh, the firefights and be able to reload, reload your gun more efficiently. If to, for those who like to check my settings, I will scroll you through my settings in Tarkov. I'm using, um, for example, uh, keypad 8 and keypad 1. Those buttons are on the side of my mouse. If you will see, I have around six buttons on the side of my mouse and all of those weird keybinds are actually my, my mouse buttons. I will show you right now how to set your NVIDIA control panel settings for those who have a NVIDIA card. When you go to your desktop and right click in your desktop, you will go to control panel of NVIDIA. In here, in manage 3D settings, I want you to make sure that the following settings are set to the values which gives you chance to have more performance. First of all, it's changing the open render GPU from the auto one to the one you're using in your system. The second on, change the low latency mode to from off to actually on. It's even faster than ultra in, in, in case of the gentleman we are using to uh, use his guides to set the settings. His channel is linked in our technical info on our Discord. I want you to check sure that uh, change the texture filtering quality from quality to performance and make sure that this is um, corrected it will give you a little bit faster render time in my case i have risen uh, 5600x uh, thread, optimi uh, thread optimization uh, helps when it's turned off i know is it a feature if it's a feature for all of the cpus but you can check in your case yeah, what works better for you. Uh, another settings in here which uh, you can check is the desktop color adjustment to make a tack of brighter and more colorful to spot enemies. You can find those settings in the video which I will link also under those um, uh, under, the, under this clip. I wish you happy raids. I hope that you learned something and stay safe. Thank you for watching.